Hi, this is Kleiner Beer. I have created a little model of the solar system. Yeah, it's really just the sun, the earth and the moon. Um, to explain very briefly some of the things that we will have to put in to our end day night cycle that we will create so that you can simulate yourself standing like oops here that's Russia it's fine where are we Kazakhstan nope we like uh, Moscow maybe you know that okay so if you would be standing here and that is what we want to build like when would the sun rise and stuff and should matter which position on the planet anywhere on the planet this day night cycle works just you know like an approximation to real life should be look like the real thing and so one thing we will have to add in is um, the apparent movement of the sun the moon and the stars stars are missing here just left in the clouds um, that is caused by the rotation of the earth around its own axis so this rotation without the earth moving through the solar system just rotation on its own axis that is a day and that is what you think is a sunrise is a moonrise is the stars moving at night that is all the earth's rotation around its own axis so you can imagine it like this if you go like this you can see night stars day sun somewhere is the moon you go like this i hope you don't get seasick very easily i do so i will stop Ooh, that was not good um, so that is one thing and the other thing is the earth is also moving around the sun and the moon is moving around the earth so uh, earth around the sun that's a year of course and the moon around the earth that is you know what we call a month it's somewhat like almost 30 days and you can notice that when the earth is moving around the sun the axis always points in the same direction so it's always pointing this way and that is what causes the seasons um, you can see right now it would be winter on the northern hemisphere and summer uh, what is that fall winter and spring summer because now the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun here it is tilted away from the sun now towards the sun of course you get more sun when you tilt it towards it and that is it for now i will explain the moon and the stars someone later maybe i will make a short video with this so that you know what we're talking about but let's start with the next video where we will create a simple sun that is nice and shiny and moves correctly um, during the year and we will you know build up the whole blueprint um, step by step video for video um, add in the moon add in the stars and start moving everything make it more and more complex okay so on to the next video